all of you actually in fact it is good evening because uh, today at uh, 8 uh, pm now okay uh, 24 january 2018 now i am going to upload the another person twins so uh, his younger brother born on 29th october 1978 at 5:25 am i want to shift the lagna for this person also now let us see shashti amsha along with this i have put because for this person i have taken shashti amsha as the uh, somewhat main chart you can say okay now see uh, actually original chart is this one this actually this of our rashi it is belong into 3868 period though even though he has born on 10 29th october 1978 at 525 am i have taken this as uh, Uh, chart later stage okay that later stage i will come next so let us take uh, uh, what uh, we call is 2008 uh, 2038 okay that is uh, chara rashi let us take that is uh, what is that 2000 9, uh, 1978 2008 chara rashi that is chara rashi is uh, makara okay that is the starting point so if you take this let me analyze this see uh, lagna 29 degree 23 minutes 55 okay that i am going to keep for all the lagnas when i am going to shift i am keeping that as constant now let us see here you may observe that we have not uh, disturbed any lagna degree we have kept the lagna degree the same throughout our shifting of lagna here you may observe that even in shashti amsha lagna moved to scorpio which is thira rashi okay uh, you can see here see if, uh, i i will i will not open this actually so see still shashti amsha see mm. it is actually chara stira okay scorpio scorpio is occupied by jupiter and rahu you can see okay saturn and moon is in uh, what do you call ninth uh, house okay ninth house so ketu is in seventh okay ketu is in seventh you can uh, see here okay let us see okay uh, stira rashi and jupiter rahu is in ascendant indicating guru chandal yoga to the netu again here also kalatrasthana is occupied by ketu indicating clearly sanyasi yoga moksha karaka ketu is in that lagna and kutumba adipati plus shashta shashta adipati mars in eighth house okay indicating his kutumba sthana has come some troubles or quarrels Ninth Lord Moon with Saturn indicating very cold type of dharmic activities. The person is not uh, uh, so interesting in giving uh, donation at all. The Neti is not at all interested in any kind of dharmic uh, religious activities. We agree with this logic since uh, the Neti is deprived of marriage and hence uh, he might have got the frustration to do all these dharmic activities. Okay, whatever it may be, let us see. okay period between stira rashi period between 2008 and 2038 let us see the stira rashi is uh, vrishabha lagna vrishabha lagna and uh, for your information even i have not uh, touched the uh, uh, this uh, ascendant uh, uh, is same 26 degree whatever it may be 26 or 29 degree 29 degree 23 minutes 55 seconds that is kept constant only thing is see lagna is shifted So here, uh, if you look, Shasti Am Shah, he is a Meena Lagna person, and uh, Lagna, the Moon, and Vakri Sukra. Hence, uh, the Neetu is very joyous in his life. Okay, Mercury is in seventh, is exalted, and uh, hence he is more business oriented person. His eighth bhava is occupied by Vik Sun, and is looking at Aries. His Dhan bhava. His ninth house is having Guru Chandal Yoga, and Rahu is aspecting ninth house, wherein Saturn and Mars are occupied. Even in his Kundali also. from taras ascendant ninth lord is saturn and is positive in fourth house is enemy house his kutumba bhava lord is mercury is with weak sun and vakri is venus his seventh house is occupied by twelfth lord mars and is aspected by exalted jupiter so there is a chance for his marriage that is possible only when guru in transit is in libra and the time is quite ripe one as jupiter in transit entered libra on 12 september 2017 so before so before october he should be married as per nadi shastra even in saptamsha sun and saturn are together in eighth house indicating that he and his father during this period 
must have differences of opinion yes it may be true as the native is frustrated due to non married state okay the blame may be going to father only okay so uh, let us see now 2038 uh, 68 that is this swabhava okay shastyamsha let us see we look at shastyamsha shastyamsha lagna is karka lagna lagna to mercury and saturn okay fifth house is occupied by jupiter moon and rahu and uh, for your information ketu is in 11th house okay so lagna is ka kataka and saturn and mercury are posted hence he is uh, sure of doing chartered accountancy job seventh house lord is saturn which is kalapradipati occupied in ascendant itself indicating sanyasi yoga equally supported with the import, imp, important lord mercury in ascendant naam shadipati jupiter is uh, sorry naam adipati jupiter is uh, for dharma and is in fifth house which is purupanya sthan hence the native is uh, for dharmic activities again ninth house is meena rashi which is uh, for the moksha as it is the last uh, uh, house of kala purusha kala chakra okay so kala purusha chakra manokaraka moon is with rahu and jupiter indicating some sorts of physical nature and also at one point of time uh, he is suffering from chandal yoga which is nothing but a beggar one i think uh, if he is not married he is uh, type of uh, he feels he is a beggar only when transit uh, jupiter in, uh, is in libra there will be a last and golden chance for the native to tie a marriage knot of course uh, he will be having guru bala uh, also okay guru bala also when jupiter uh, uh, actually becomes the second to moon so so with all these things you can understand more or less a person is uh, Uh, towards sanyasi yoga only even in uh, his elder brother's case also we are clear because we have seen horoscope uh, directly here we have taken the support of shasti amsha okay so with this let me close this uh, video if you like it kindly uh, subscribe thank you very much